We are back at Platt Auto with Jack, who is certifiably fun. I, I appreciate it's you being fun. here, Jack. It's the goal. And today we're going to be checking out an Ionic 6. Absolutely. I'm Brian. Welcome to Future Aussie. Oh, 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 oh. So Ionic 6, I got to admit, I like the styling. Tell me about this. Fancy this, little Hyundai you got here. This fancy little Hyundai, it's a 2023. It's the SE Long Range, which is the best range variant the uh, Ionic 6 came in. So rear wheel drive, big battery. It's got the aero wheels, which are divisive. Um, well, yeah, but I mean. It, they either, look like pizza cutters. You either, well, now <laughs> they do. You either like them or you don't. And you'll, you'll know by looking. It's not something where you get home and six sure. months later find out you got the aero wheels yeah yeah no you won't find out later but the range is amazing on these it's the best trip car 361 miles of rated range with wow. the 230 kilowatts of charging wow so it's a uh, that's it's pretty, pretty impressive. serious what were these new do you know these guys i believe were starting in the um for a base model was going to be in the mid to upper 40s oh it's because the car is on right now it's a lot of stuff fancy fancy lights there uh, fancy everything. Ooh, even these are pretty fancy. Well, we know the trunk works. Trunk does work. Decent sized trunk. Yeah, decent under front, under sub trunk, I guess, or sub trunk. Not, not too bad. Um, certainly adequate for luggage, but it is a sedan, and that's going to be part of it. You can escape from the inside, so no kidnapping. And uh, yeah, you can lock it. I don't know, does that do anything? There we go. Locks it, shuts itself down. Yeah, so I mean, the cool thing about the Ionic line from Hyundai is they give you the option. So if you wanted a bigger car with more practical space, then they have the Ionic 5, which we may look at later. And uh, the Ionic 6 is your smaller one with better range, because this has about 60 more miles of range than the best Ionic 5, because you get that more slimmed down body and sacrifice a little bit of storage. That's pretty fun, that's pretty fun. So, you can judge the styling from pictures, but well, why don't we just hop in? Let's do it. Okay, so this <laughs> feels very different from... This feels different from the Fiat. I don't know if you would agree with that. I've got a little more space in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got, as always, too much. So I will adjust my... There you go. So Still a manual seat because this is the SE. It's your no, no, this was a power train. seat. Oh, yours is a power seat? Yeah, yeah. Well, good for you. I got a manual seat. <laughs> I got to work for my it's cover. Second, <laughs> second class. Yes. I uh, didn't buy the car. <laughs> that's right. So I just poked the button because the key is in here. Yep. Which the key? Looks, looks like a Hyundai logo. logo. I like the new Hyundai keys. Oh, that's clever. They look kind of cool. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, the air conditioning. It is a warm day. Works well. So, uh, what have we got going on here? Uh, dual screen. So, for those who don't like some cars that don't have it right in front of you, they don't want it over here. They want it here. Guess what? It's here. You get it all. You get it all. All the screens. You got your maps. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to see that it was out of state. Is it? Uh, oh, it is touch screen. Though, you know, legacy speed. Yeah. A polite way to put it. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. And you've got buttons that'll change things and take you back. Real different, buttons. Different menus. Yeah. And like anything with real buttons, it might take you a few minutes to get the hang of it. Um, USB charging here. Is this inductive or just a. In the higher trim level, level, it will be, but uh, in this one, it is a coin holder. Okay. Uh, auto hold. So yeah, higher trim's gonna have that. Uh, what is auto hold? Auto hold is when you're at a stop. Yeah, hold the, mode. Exactly, it just holds the car, doesn't let you roll away, so you can take your foot off the brake and mm -hmm. wait for the light to presume mm -hmm. green. More USB chargers, love to see it. Yes. Is that what that is? Yes, there are some yeah. USB-C chargers down here. Nice. For the modern day phone user. Yeah, well, be, because thankfully, everything now takes USB. Yes, Apple so us. Yeah, so that's great. And this. There you go. Behind your steering wheel, you're going to find some paddles. flappy paddles. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, Hyundai and Kia's way of controlling your regenerative braking. So 
Your right pa see. paddle will reduce the regen. Your left paddle will increase the regen. Okay. And that so doesn't move, but it twists. Twists. There you go. So I'm in neutral drive. Okay. There you go. All right. Fascinating. Oh, that twist is very easy. Yes. Oh, I like the, the boxes show. Yep, gives you lots of, with such a wide screen, it can show you a lot of information. Yeah. So already this feels like a real car. A yeah. real EV. Real EV. More specifically. Because I've had some fun here at Platt. We did the Ford Focus. Yeah, the Focus Electric. The Focus Electric. We did the uh, the Fiat. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember. Oh, the Audi was a lot of compromises, I felt, on the e-tron, the old e-tron. Sport. Um, this is. Oh yeah, that's. Ooh, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah, that feels. Um, that feels good. That feels powerful, like a rear-wheel drive Model Three. Yep. Um, the styling is very distinct. Don't mind it. Yeah. So let's take a look at the dash again here. This, I assume, is my security blinky light. Yes. So uh, it's also a light sensor. One of them is a light oh. sensor, one of them is your charge indicator. So from outside the car, it'll flash green to tell you that your car is charging. And my regen modes are on the paddles? Yep, so if you pull your right paddle, you'll feel the car will have- uh, This one? Yep, you'll have a lighter amount of regen. So if you lift off, oh, it'll go to a full coast mode and you have so an indicator on the screen. An indicator there. right here that shows? Yep, it tells you the level. And I pedal on, that is the full regen braking setting. So that's like one pedal driving. Yeah, and that's what it, feels like it's not as aggressive as some one pedals I've felt certainly yep. but that that'll bring you to uh, an eventual stop do you know if when you hit the brake it would give you additional regen or is it just brake at that point uh, if you have eye paddle on that's it's already giving you as much regen as it really can okay. it may give you a little bit more with the brake pedal but uh, you're really gonna go to the brake pads after that but I still think you're unlikely to go through brake pads oh yeah in the 80 to 100,000 miles you'd be likely to have this. Right. This is, you said what year? This is a 23. So this only has another seven years of battery warranty? <laughs> That's it. Actually, Just that. uh, only nine more. It was, nine a, more. it was a 10 year from now. Well, it's already at 19,000 miles, yep. so you're not gonna get the full 10 years. Probably not. Because it's probably 100, what is it, 100, 120? Um, 100,000, it's a 10 year 100,000. Yeah, that's, so you've only got, Jack, I'm worried about this car, it's only got 81,000 more miles of battery warranty. Buyers beware. Buyer beware. And that's really the thing that, the only thing that should worry you. If you could find a car that had a 10 year, 100,000 warranty on the transmission and engine, I don't know, I'd feel a lot more confident yep. instead of instead of the lowly, I think 50 or 60 I had on my Nissan. Five or 60 is pretty common for <sighs> gassers. Yeah. So let's see, on this, um, what's this going for? This one is going for 29,997, so okay. basically 30,000 for the most range you'll find on our lot with the fastest charging you'll find on our lot. And this does not qualify for the used incentive? We have one of the, there's a couple rules that this is breaking for the used car incentive. The car has to be at least two years old. So 2023 is actually too new for a used car. It's gotta right. be 22 or older. And there's a price cap for that program of 25,000. Just missed the cut. Just missed the cut. So, but lots of options under 25,000. Yes. And, <laughs> and again, is it for you or not? That's not something I can help you with. I'm just trying to show you the features. Right, I mean, this is for the person who really wants to do a lot of trips. I mean, if you want all the range you could ask for with the best charging, I mean, it checks all of the boxes for somebody who wants to cover a lot of miles in their EV. Now, modern cars, what kind of uh, sound are we getting? So, does everybody have Bluetooth now? Everybody really has Bluetooth. The thing that you kind of want to look for in the cars is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's the common way for most cars to give you the best phone connectivity. Uh, so this car does do wired uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Wired? So you need yep. a headphone jack. Not a headphone jack, but your USB charging port is... Oh, uh, oh, oh that'll work. Yeah. Oh, thank, okay. Good, good. Because I was going to say, 
I just finally <laughs> upgraded away from it. Yes, I fought it because I need sometimes a wired microphone, but I've got yep. better wired microphones now. So my uh, so my advice is because we're not going to play you any sound systems in any of these cars. We can't uh, copyright reasons, and it would only sound as good as my microphone and your uh, speakers in your in your home in your, on your phone. So what you do is when you come in. Bring your phone, have your music ready yep. to go. Bring your charge cord, we'll bring, plug into all of them. And yeah, and if it is Bluetooth, you can Bluetooth in. Or Bluetooth in. And see, check out, because there's nothing like the song you know. Don't put on yep. some, you know, your favorite. I don't, you know, I, I'm sorry, but uh, Hawaiian, journey Hawaiian polka metal is not my <laughs> genre, Dan. I keep telling you. Did you hear the latest album though? I did. It's really good. So it, good. It's so much good. better than the old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's my advice on sound. And really, I haven't seen a modern car with sound as bad as the average sound system in the 90s. No. In yeah. a long time. Yes. Now we got we got a lot of old cars as trade-ins and I turn on the sound system. I feel like it's broken, but no. That's just what speakers used to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, take a look at how much legroom there is. Legroom back here is extensive. I mean, that you can absolutely lounge back there, even behind my seat, which is a little farther back. That is a lot of legroom. Lots. It's a very long car, just like the Ionic 5. I mean, you get really, it's a similar length to the Ionic 5. So you get a lot of similar interior dimensions as far as like the width and the length, you get very similar headroom, very uh, similar shoulder width room. Um, the main difference is it's just a shorter car, which I still have, you know. Well, and great head I can put the seat down. Yeah, well, you're which, really low riding now. Now it's, <laughs> now, I mean, my knees are up around my nipples. So yeah. that's, uh, where should I turn by the way? We'll go straight for a little longer. I am on the floor. But if you're taller, I mean, you've got, I'm long in the torso, so you've got some, yep. some room here. <laughs> I'm also long in the torso at, you know, I'm at six foot and I got a few inches here and I'm sitting pretty, uh, pretty upright. So I've never found somebody who didn't fit in one of these. I have had trouble getting through the door holes on a Lucid. The I haven't been in a Lucid. The door holes are weirdly, interesting, weirdly short. Um, and I thought that was just an aero thing, but this is a slippery car. There, yeah. It's got good aero. Is it just a really like low, no. low roof line? I, no. It looks totally normal. They just cut the door hole wrong. I think they just cut the door hole wrong. I'll take a size off of that. <laughs> I don't recommend that. So, what do we have in terms of uh, driver assist? Do we have like collision, uh, forward collision warning? Do we have? Yeah, even in this base model, SE trim level, it comes very highly equipped. So you get your adaptive cruise control, which of course comes with the emergency braking. It also has lane centering for the, the auto steering. So almost Tesla Auto Pilot. So you've got your, uh, on the left, you see the little steering wheel icon. You turn on the cruise control. Okay, did I do that? Um, you gotta hit the cruise control. I think it's the top left button, then you set your speed. There we go. Okay. And then once it sees the lane lines well enough, It'll take over on the steering with that bottom right button. There you go. So now it's got your little green steering wheel icon there. So you can feel it. There we go. No, it didn't do that. Didn't do that. <laughs> no, it turned off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really, it's not a, as competent as a Tesla autopilot, but on a, you know, relatively straight highway with well-marked lanes, it, uh, it does a decent job. There you go. It's taking this curve. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's doing it. There we go. It's doing it. Yeah, I've, I've done this road in a Tesla, and a Tesla does pretty good. A little a little jaggedy because you can't see the lane lines very hard, uh, far up sometimes. But, uh, yeah, this this system does a really good job on an expansive highway more it so. It did just show this. It just said school zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's got your sign recognition there. Yeah. And, yeah, you've been hands-free here for a little bit, actually. For a little bit. And this, I imagine, is not meant for this road. But I wouldn't think so. But it does it. Yeah, I, w I don't normally recommend people. Yeah, there you go. Now it's starting to tell you to put a hand on the wheel. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a well-marked road with oh. a gradual curves. So that's nice. And I tell you, on a long road trip, you just need driver assist. It's nice. Um, 
I know I've heard good things about Toyota. I haven't experienced it yet. Um, I did recently break the, the news as why mm -hmm. are people buying the Toyota BZ4X? Why? I cornered a guy in a parking lot and I said, <laughs> I like your new Toyota. Do you like it? And he said, I sure do. My buddy got one and he told me, zero down, two seventy nine dollars a month lease. Mm, that'll do it. That'll do it. I was like, well, there we go. Am I turning somewhere? Um, soon we're going to take one of these next side road. Yeah, because there was an article saying that it was better than other cars, and we did not believe that. Uh, so I... Have you have you driven a busy fork yet? I have not. I have not. But the reasons it gave didn't add up. Right. So I said, look, if you want to make an article about why people would actually buy them, here's, mm -hmm. I think we came up with five, six reasons why you would actually buy them. Uh -huh. And one, the biggest one, brand loyalty. Yeah. And the most cynical one was, hey, if this car totally dies, they're going to buy it back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reason. Yeah. That happens sometimes. Wouldn't that be awesome? Year and a half, two yeah. years, free car. There you go. I think the real reason is, as you say, you know, the they're giving away some pretty great lease deals on those things. So that was a drive. So you got your park right here, all that, shut it off. Well, we're going to hop in the back seat and check out the leg room because it is, I think, oh, look at that. The handles present. That's nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. This is sitting behind my own that, already comfortable seating position. This is... That is, I and, can't even reach the seat. Yeah, and Jack, and Jack again, six feet. That is the most legroom I've seen in a car in. I, I, I just don't know, man. That's, That's ridiculous. Great. The headroom is where it's different than the a headroom Toyota is. Bus. Is a little a little tight. It's a little short for you. Luckily, you got the legroom to slouch. But if I'm sitting upright, it's a little it's a little ah. tight in the back. Executive. And it does it have the uh, handles, the beloved handles. Oh, crap handles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So again, don't know when this video is coming out. This is more uh, representative of what they have rather than just telling you what's actually here at. Yeah. So this is more meant to be representative of what they have, not necessarily saying what they have on hand today. It is a uh, no hassle kind of place. Um, if you wish to uh, argue with Jack, you can. Can you recommend some topics, perhaps sports or Yeah, philosophy? I'm very passionate about Formula One uh, racing and uh, try to tell me Max Verstappen is good and we'll yell for, you for a little while. Yes, so yeah, you can talk to him about topics like Formula One, yep. whether or not it is the ultimate race. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we call it. Uh, like yeah, that. so you guys, <laughs> uh, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? I do like the presenting door handles. People get so confused when they don't know how to get into a car. Now that is nice. It uh, makes it a little bit more self-explanatory than knowing where to poke it. Yeah. And they do fold away nicely, obviously, so you get the yeah, sleek of look. Of course, of course. They don't, of course. They don't drive with their ears flopping like Dumbo yes. here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, leave it in the comments. What did you think? Uh, check out platauto.com, and we'll see what happens. I mean, pretty fun stuff.